489th Contact, Monday, March 1, 2010. Billy says actually I have something which still requires an explanation from your side. Christian Frenner brought me our question from Michael Horn and Professor James Dedorf regarding the current CO2 content of the terrestrial atmosphere. But since I was not quite sure in regard to an answer, I asked Florana on February 25th for an explanation. Both obviously thought that the current content is not yet dangerous and that it also does not climb so quickly. Besides that, they spoke of a 4% CO2 content which is not, however, what was mentioned in our conversation of October 14th last year in regard to CO2. Florana answered my question by quoting the exact current content as 0.046%. This is in contrast to the claims of the terrestrial scientists who, with inexact calculations, would only calculate a value of 0.039%. I assume, concerning that, that a misunderstanding probably exists with the two and they took the terrestrial scientists lower value as the starting point and that this is not yet dangerous and for which reason it is also not to be evaluated as grave. However, how they arrived at 4% is a puzzle to me because neither of us mentioned this number in our conversation. What is to be said about that? Patar says it is correct that the current CO2 content on the Earth amounts to 0.046%, respectively 460 ppm parts per million which is truly quite a lot more than the terrestrial scientists register with their inadequate apparatuses. This CO2 content of 0.046% is not yet very grave for the life forms, but, with humans who are more susceptible than others regarding CO2, it leads to very frequent migraines, with nausea and dizziness. But, among diverse other factors, the molecule also strongly influences the climate and therefore contributes to climate change. The content of 460 ppm is therefore not harmless. Instead, it has already, for a long time, shown certain effects with humans who are susceptible to it as it also has in regard to climate change, through which natural catastrophes take the lives of many humans. The named 0.046 percentage of CO2 impregnates the atmosphere whereby however this says nothing about the CO2 which has accumulated and continues to accumulate in the soil and in the oceans and other bodies of water, and which is freed, by and by as a result of various processes and also enters the atmosphere this way. It also says nothing about how the CO2 damages all seas and other bodies of water in that it acidifies them. The gas will be poisonous for the humans when, in the air, it reaches a content of approximately 1% which will then already lead generally to headaches and chronic tiredness. It has an absolutely deadly effect when it reaches a content of 8% in the air. Naturally the entire thing still corresponds to a longer process and will not take effect overnight, but the whole thing will not be stopped if the earth humans proceed with their uncontrollable reproduction and continue to produce the gas in excessive amounts as they have until now. As a result of everything which is coming in the future, factors can come about which allow the CO2 content to suddenly and rapidly increase especially when the molecules, which have accumulated and continue to accumulate in the soil and in the oceans, escape into the air as a result of some sort of circumstances, and become dangerous for all breathing beings. That is certainly not the case yet and also one cannot expect it to be the case very quickly, but to think that the CO2 content of 460 ppm is not dangerous corresponds to an erroneous assumption because that is already alarmingly high, because, namely, as a result of the molecule, the climate is strongly influenced in a negative way and causes certain human beings health difficulties with migraines, nausea and dizziness. Around 150 years ago the CO2 content in the atmosphere amounted to 0.028% and shortly before industrialization the content of CO2 on the earth amounted to 187 ppm. Subsequently the content has therefore climbed by a disturbing 273 ppm. 
The terrestrial atmosphere has always contained CO2 in small amounts, but the Earth humans have unfortunately contributed very much to the strong increase of the gas content, and indeed as a result of the irresponsible, excessive burning of fossil fuels such as crude oil, natural gas and coal, as well as as a result of diverse other natural and chemically produced substances. Means of transport, such as aircraft, automobiles, tractors, other motor vehicles and all kinds of work machines as well as ships, which are powered by combustion engines, also contribute in a big way to the entire evil. To add to that are also power stations and factories which are powered in some way with gas or coal. Also the logging and clearing by means of fire of the rainforests, as well as other clearing of forests around the world and the destruction and building over of riverside forests and fertile fields for residential buildings and factories, and so forth, contributed and further contributes to the increasing CO2 content. Billy says but now all the clever ones and no tales who play everything down again, will come again. That will unfortunately, really not be avoidable. Patar says that will with certainty be so, just as it will that everything will be described as worse than it, in and of itself, already is. The End